Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Peter Planter. For today's plant index, we are going to talk about Anthurium magnifica. So if you have known, Anthuriums have been growing a lot of like, um, people have been growing their interest on Anthuriums. And me myself though, I have been interested more with Anthurium since I started with having an Anthurium wave of love. Um, now I'm starting to collect these type of anthurium since they're very pretty and velvety and I don't think anyone would um, not be tempted to get this one, right? So let us talk about how to take care of this anthurium magnificum properly so that we would have successful um, plant journey together with the anthurium magnificum. Alright, so let's talk about first about the background of Anthurium Magnificum. So basically Anthurium Magnificum is an American native where it was introduced by Scott um, in the year of 19, 1866 I guess if I'm not wrong and this has been exported um, throughout the entire world because of its beauty and due to this very velvety leaf and thick succulent leaf it has been highly um, sought out because it is very amazing and it is it brings a lot of um, beauty inside your home. Now, Anthurium magnificum can grow up to around 20 inches wide in their leaves if properly grown. Um, but I've seen a lot of I've seen mag um, Anthurium magnificums which which are larger than 20 inches in width for the leaves and you wouldn't even imagine how large they can get and with the right proper with the right proper with the right um growing conditions and you know um with the right conditions they could grow large and quickly for you guys let's talk about the soil requirements for anthurium magnificum so basically anthurium magnificum you have to keep in mind it's a, it's an anthurium, um, so it wants to to be to stay hydrated and it wants to stay moist. So what you want for your soil mix for this anthurium is basically a mixture of um, cocoa peat plus uh, orchid bark plus charcoal or activated charcoal and plus organic material organic um, materials like berm cast and or those organic um, soil materials <laughs> so basically yes you don't want your you don't want your magnificum to stay um, in wet feet because they would tend to dry uh, they would tend to rot and you don't want your anthurium to rot so yes keep your soil mix a well draining soil and most especially a type of mix where an excess water would be expelled out to avoid wet feet on your Ethereum Magnificum. Now let's proceed to the light requirements for this Magnificum. Now Magnificum or Ethereum Magnificum likes their light or environment to be a bright indirect light. Usually typically they are found in the forest where they are under the canopies of trees where they receive an ample amount of indirect light or shaded light through the trees through their leaves and in the entire day they are under the canopies of trees so you want to replicate that environment in your home so you want to give it at least bright indirect light um, they would grow better they would grow faster and they would perform better in bright indirect light now Others say that they, they that Anthurium magnificum can um, thrive in a little bit low lighter, low lighter, <laughs> a little bit in low lower light. So I would suggest to acclimate them basically to uh, lower light areas because you don't want to shock your Anthuriums, or you, basically you don't want your to shock your plants. Now. I wouldn't suggest it to. I wouldn't suggest you to put it in a lower light situation, um, basically because it wouldn't perform as much as the anthuriums that are um, that you would re replicate their environment. So yeah, um, they would want you. Uh, they would want their light to be a bright indirect light, or probably replicate their environment by putting them under the can canopy of tree. 
Alright, proceeding to water. Now, root rot is the most common problem of any plant parent or any person that is taking care of plants. Now, Anthera magnificum wants to stay hydrated, as what I've said earlier. Um, they wanted to uh, keep their soil moist, but not soggy. There's a difference between mo moist and soggy. Moist. So soggy means your water, your soil has an excess water in it. It couldn't drain as much. Uh, it, it couldn't drain the excess water out from the pot. But moist is when your soil is just damp enough um, to retain the moisture, but not like water wet you know you know what wet is <laughs> so yes use you, you keep your um magnificum moist um especially on the growing season though you want to keep it moist because it needs the extra moisture to grow and uh do not let your anterior magnificums dry out completely completely because you would end up having um yellow leaves let's talk about humidity of for this um, Anthurium magnificum. So Anthurium magnificum is a tropical uh, plant so it would thrive, it would highly thrive in high humidity. So you want you want to replicate your your the environment for your for your Anthurium magnificum to have a high humidity. If not now if you put your Anthurium magnificum inside your room then I would suggest you to have a humidifier inside your room if you want to replicate the environment um, I suggest it would be around 60% humidity and above but if you are placing this one in, uh, under the canopy of trees you would want to group it together with some other plants which loves humidity like other ethereums, um, calatheus, um, they're good for that and uh, because when you group plants um, together, they would create their microclimate um, in that zone and they would create the humidity that uh, they want. It's like they would make the livable environment that they want to. Okay, so fertilizing. Now, you want to fertilize your Anthurium magnificums six to, every six to eight months during the growing season. You don't want to over fertilize your magnificum because it would burn the, the roots and it would uh, kill the plant. Now, I would suggest you to use the slow release fertilizer. It has um, done so much for me. It, it has done so much um, for my plants and I really highly recommend you buying the slow release fertilizer. It's an Osmocote slow release fertilizer. Um, because the other chemical fertilizer, let's say the, the ones that would mm, dissolve in water directly or immediately, immediately it would burn the I have tried my plants the roots just burned off after a day of watering or using that fertilizer so yes I recommend you to use the Osmaco slow release fertilizer every six to eight months so that would keep your magnificum healthy and you know don't over fertilize don't overfeed because too much of everything is bad so propagating Anthurium magnificum is fairly easy uh, the most or the best way to propagate your Anthurium magnificum is to divide it. Now, if your Anthurium magnificum grows to a larger size, it would create some pops. And basically, what I found out that this Anthurium magnificum that I have, so this Anthurium magnificum that I have is a pop from a larger Anthurium magnificum. So it is very, very clear here that. It is very clear here where the cutting uh, was made and this one thrived fairly, fairly great. Now, that is the easiest way to propagate your Anthurium Magnificum. I haven't tried propagating my Anthurium Magnificum because this is, an, like, this is the newest member on my collection um, and I, it hasn't, you know, given me any pops yet. But um, sooner or later, if I would have a pup here and it, it would be time to propagate, then you would definitely see me making a video for that one because I would want to share my journey uh, on propagating Ethereum Magnificum and it would be great, right? <sighs> okay, so I hope you've learned a lot from this video about Ethereum Magnificum. 
um, I'm sharing this um, plant index for you guys to have a successful journey with your Anterior Magnificum and so far, fingers crossed, I haven't had any problems with my Anterior Magnificum. It has been with me for about uh, two weeks now and it, is, it has been great. It has been raining um, for the past few weeks but for the past two weeks it wasn't raining and I have to you know keep track on the watering schedule for this guy and really if you don't have Anterior Magnificum yet you should get one you should get one yourself because they, this Anterium is very pretty. Um, if you have grow light inside your room, you can definitely put a grow light just like this one. I have a grow light, but um, my humidity inside my room is not perfect for Anterium, so I won't risk that moment. <laughs> I won't risk that. So yes, um, if you learned something from this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel if you're new here. It would really help me um, a lot in my YouTube journey. And don't forget to share this to your friends, uh, those who need it. And I really hope that, enjoyed, that you enjoyed this plant index. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video.